strangers, I'm Bitsy Tandem, and welcome to today's leap into art and creativity. Today we are doing the most ambitious, the most epic character creation challenge that I have ever tried to do in my entire artist career. Honestly, I'm a bit nervous. This is going to be a little bit outside of my comfort zone, but who cares? Let's just do it. Let's just do it. So of course, we're gonna need some world playing dice. I know I've got a big bag of them somewhere, but I don't think I brought all of them. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh yeah, I live in the middle of nowhere. I guess we have to do this the old-fashioned way. All right, we got our dice. They're pretty awesome, aren't they? No digital rolling for us. As you can see, I have a chart of epic character traits that I have created via D&D inspiration and the internet. Each trait is correlated to a different game die, so all I need to do now is roll. Four. Saucy. Three. Three. Seven. Zero. Four, which is evil. And next is a three, and then another three. So we've got up angled and strange. So we're off to a good start. Seven, six, seven, magical orb. Next is the double zero, which is ten in this case. So right over to monarch. Oh, eight for the D12. Six, seven, eight. Paladin. Nice. The race. The big one. Eighteen. So this would be 20, which makes it 19. Eighteen. We're drawing a mad unicorn queen! <laughs> Unexpected, and yet awesome. When I first think evil and strange, and then monarch, I'm thinking like a like a creepy old dude. But a pretty half unicorn queen. But she's evil, you know. What to do? This is, this is gonna be epic. <laughs> we gotta do, all we gotta do is freaking draw it. <laughs> this is gonna be really hard. <laughs> a freaking paladin unicorn. Oh gosh. Well, first things first. To do this crazy, insane, mad, evil unicorn monarch, <laughs> we're gonna need some sketches. We gotta figure out the upwards angle, how we want to portray her. Should she be on a battlefield? Should she be on a throne? There's so much to think about composition-wise for this. I jumped right in with some thumbnail sketches and then went right into some uh, ideas I had for the character herself. I was originally thinking something like cute and small, almost like chibi, and uh, kind of innocent but evil. Um, then I decided to completely veer away from that and go with a more mature monarch look. Like someone who knows she's evil and knows what she's doing, but uh, enjoys it I suppose. <laughs> my best with a couple uh, guidelines for the upwards angle and uh, jumped right into the uh, 
a sketch for the character. I wanted her sitting on a stone in the middle of a field with like a city burning behind her and I uh, just I was really enjoying the process. Once I got the initial sketching down I jumped right into the armor and I was originally gonna go with something kind of like typical standard and then I just started trying some different ideas and I ended up on this really interesting almost goo-like looking armor, asymmetric, and I kind of thought like maybe her uh, paladin metal armor had been imbued with her dark magic and is twisted and changed within the path of herself twisting and changing. And uh, I really wanted to put that expression on her face where she, she isn't the typical unicorn character and she enjoys that. Like, this is who she is, and she likes that now. I added a horn on her armor, like, attached to it, which I kind of thought would be, like, the horn of a uh, previous monarch, perhaps? Um, it looks a little dark, but, um, I mean, hey, if you're gonna be a mad tyrant, you probably gotta overthrow somebody. And then I kind of thought of like the bicorn kind of thing. So now she has two horns and has a bicorn and it's evil, you know. <laughs> line art, that is what really took the most amount of time. Um, I'm really particular with my line art. I like it to be thin and just really perfect. <laughs> After that I jumped right into the coloring process, which is a really fun process for the most part, but um, I was originally going to have her in a field, remember? And it just didn't look right with all the evilness I wanted to portray. It just wasn't epic enough. So I changed the scene. I put her in this like dark red, almost like underworld kind of looking place. And uh, I really, really wanted there to be lava somewhere because uh, she's got like these fiery red orbs that are imbued into her armor and her weapons and it's kind of the source of her black magic power and I really wanted the scenery to kind of mirror that and really portray the evil essence that is inside of her. Uh, when I got to the skin, I tried a few different things. I um, actually really wanted to put in some like purples and some pinks, just some more strange colorations that you wouldn't see on a typical human person. <laughs> and then uh, the armor actually turned out different than I originally imagined. I was originally going to make it dark and sludge-like, which I still think would have been really cool, but I actually went with more of like a metal look. like. Maybe she was once a paladin for the unicorn people before whatever happened twisted her on the inside and out. So her magic, the dark magic that has twisted her, has also twisted her paladin armor. So it's still the same metal, but it's been warped and just pulled and pushed and strained against itself into this weird amalgamation of moving pieces that kind of almost seemed to like pulse and move with her magic power. The hair was probably the most difficult part for the coloring process, but it was also really fun. I've never worked with so many different colors before, um, and having like that rainbow hair, like that typical unicorn thing, uh, it was just, it was really interesting to just get into those colors and get really messy and come out with this really beautiful end piece of the of this just colorful ethereal hair that you would see on a beautiful unicorn.
So it has been over a week since we last talked and I have worked over 10 hours on this project and <laughs> I'm pretty happy with it and I'll show you in just a second. But I just wanted to say that all in all, I do really love what came out of it. It's such an epic character. I never would have thought of anything like this on my own. But I do wish I had got the upward angle a little better. I, I'm not super good at angles yet, especially up. Like, I can get down all right, because it's mostly just the head. But up is weird, because the feet, I don't know. I did my best, and I'm very, very happy with it. And I really hope you guys joined and tried something too. Pushed yourself with art and made something awesome. Without further ado, here's the big reveal. this as fun and epic as I have and I cannot wait to see what you guys have made. Tell me in the comments below. I want to see your characters. But thank you so much for watching and as always stay strange and I will see you later.